Hello everyone, Farswabiha here from Craftivation. Today I'll be creating a fun project for Stencil Girl products um, for their August stock block. Stencil Girl is an US based uh, stencil company and as you can see they have a wide range of fabulous stencils. Do check them out and I'm so happy to be a part of their guest design team for, Aug for the month of August. These are the amazing stencils I got from the DT kit. So for today's project, I've decided to work with this base and um, it's a white base. I won't be priming it up beforehand. Uh, I'll just uh, get straight into adding some texture paste. As I won't be using a crackle paste, that's why I'm using two stencils at once for the background so that it also adds the pattern and also adds the texture of the crackle paste. I have not covered the whole background with texture paste because I want to keep some white spaces all around. While the paste is still uh, wet, I'm adding some clear embossing powder to make the uh, texture paste waterproof and uh, add a little bit of shine to it. As the embellishments, I'm using tree branches, paper cutouts, um, clay gears, resin bulbs and so on. Now it's time for the composition. I'm attaching the elements with some all-purpose glue and distressing the paper cutouts with uh, Tim Holtz distressing. I'm attaching the elements in layers so that it adds more interest to the project. Now it's time for the fun part which is to add some colors. As I'm going for a very grungy and vintage theme, I'm choosing my color likewise and that's why I'm using a very dark brown, burnt sienna, um, sunshine yellow and so on. Now I'm bringing on my third stencil which is the drip stencil from Stencil Girl Products to add some color texture. As I felt like the background still needed something, I'm adding some uh, stamp textures and foil accents. Finally adding a very vintage looking focal point. Now it's time to add a sentiment strip where I bring my fourth stencil and I'm using the beautiful life uh, sentiment for today's project. Here I'm using golden and brown paint to color the sentiment. Here I'm using the same sentiment stencil to add some textures around the focal point. I love adding sequins uh, in my mixed media projects and for today I'm using some yellow sequins to match the theme of my project. Finally finishing off the project by distressing the edges and mounting the paper over a hard background. So here it is. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did please like this video and subscribe to our channel and I hope you will head over to the uh, talk blog of stencil girl products to see an in detailed uh, description of the project and thank you so much for watching uh, thank you so much guys bye bye